Um, I started dancing when I was about, I think, 10 years old. And the only problem was I, I wanted to dance, but I didn't want to dance with any girls around. So my mum uh, kind of dragged me along to this dance class, like an all boys funk class in the Sutherland Shire where I live. Um, and then I kept doing that um, until I was about 14, 15. Then I moved over to uh, Bren Street Studios where I kind of took the next level in passion, I guess, and got to meet some really cool people and some other boys that were also doing the same thing that I was doing. And from then on, I guess, I'm 22 now. Um, the rest is history, I guess, yeah. My dad was a dancer, so he kind of put me into Bren Street when I was about four years old. And then I've been at Bren Street for like, 10 years, like a million years it felt like, and then I did full time and I graduated there and then um, after that I went into Fame and Musical and a couple of other corporate gigs and yeah, from there I've just been working hard and training and it's been great. Um, the highlight of my dance career was Fame and Musical I think. Um, it was my first musical and it was a chance to work with Kelly Abbey who I idolised my whole life and um, yeah, it was just a great experience with great dancers and yeah, it was a shame it ended so early but it was great, it was amazing. Uh, my highlights probably I did Cats the Musical when I finished high school, um, went straight into that um, touring around Asia for 18 months. Um, then I did So You Think You Can Dance series 2 which was another awesome experience getting to work in television and um, things like that and then I also did Fame with Morgan and uh, a bunch of the other guys who were teaching, Marco, um, Amy, is Amy teaching as well? Amy, a few of the other guys as well, so um, that was also a really, really uh, awesome experience. Yeah, um, I guess students uh, at the Australian Dance Fe Festival should just come into our workshop with, I guess, an open mind, which I'm sure they already will. Because, um, yeah, we like, to, we like to teach stuff that's a little bit, I guess, left of centre. We like to infuse, like, contemporary technique, but not a lot of it, but a little bit. Um, and then with, uh, like, a lot of style. Like, it's really stylistic kind of movement. So, um, And there's yeah. definitely elements of dance that I think everyone can relate to. Mm. So, contemporary, jazz, hip-hop. Hip -hop. Yeah. And we kind of like infuse it all together, so yeah. Yeah. It's a great way for people to learn different things, I think, as well. Yeah. Uh, Morgan and myself are looking at starting something together, almost kind of mimicking the whole Napoleon and Tabitha kind of vibe, Nappy but not, not the same at all, but just, you know, a guy and a girl, couple, um, just creating something together where, you know, we want to look at putting a showcase on at the end of the year um, at a small theatre and then building from there, I guess. But we're kind of just trying to put our heads together and... Just trying to create as much as we can and trying to develop the industry here as well. And, yeah, it's, it's exciting for us because we want to create something different in Australia, especially because we feel like a lot of people think that overseas is the biggest thing, but we want to make Australia just as strong. So, yeah, we're trying to develop as many projects to get everyone involved together. But starting small, starting small I think is the, is the key. But yeah, then building up from there.